Hi, I'm Jessica, manager of the forest at the New York Botanical Garden. At the heart of the garden's 250 acres is a 50-acre old-growth forest that is actually home to lots of great wildlife. The, the Bronx River that flows through it is a green corridor for all this wildlife to move back and forth from Westchester County into the Bronx. In particular, the birds, the migratory birds, really use the Bronx River in both spring and fall when they're moving throughout this area. And in addition to migratory birds at the garden, we also have resident birds, or birds that are here year-round. Today, let's take a look at the birds of the New York Botanical Garden. My name is Debbie Becker. I work for the New York Botanical Garden. I've been here for 25 years leading bird walks and nature tours. It's an hour and a half on Saturdays. We start at the reflecting pond and we cover practically the entire garden. 250 acres looking for seasonal birds and resident birds. Well, my favorite birds are the owls. We have nesting great horned owls here. Their babies just fledged the nest. We've been watching the owls for years, just love them, they're mysterious, hard to find, so it's always a challenge, they're on everybody's life list. Um, I love the chickadees because in the winter time, you, if you bring peanuts and you hold out your hand, they will come and land on your hand and um, you can actually feed them. Hi, uh, my name is Tom Shukaski. I love coming to the New York Botanical Gardens to bird and uh, look at the flowers and all kinds of cool <laughs> things, birds, owls, <laughs> chickadees, uh, all the different kinds of birds. You know, the, the best thing about the botanical gardens is the diversity. You have natural forest, you have a river with uh, wetlands, so the variety of birds you get here, it's kind of you know, one-stop shopping. Uh, just last weekend, I brought my daughter, and you know, although I don't really promote feeding animals I'd, I'd completely against that you know leave no trace you know view wildlife from a distance and whatnot because they're so accustomed to people here they were, I was seeing birds landing in people's hands and my daughter was like oh wow that you know and for kids to experience that you know I let you know them pick up some bird seed that was on the ground that someone put showed them how to hold their hand really gentle and still and to feel that bird and have a connection with a bird like that, I think was more beneficial than harmful in the long run, you know, because it's here and they're used to it. But it was, I mean, that experience was, I mean, to see my daughter and these people have the birds land on them. I did it, you know, I was like, I gotta do it. You know, I, I, it was awesome. I loved it. My name is Pat Gonzalez. I'm a licensed New York City tour guide. I'm also an amateur wildlife photographer and member of the New York Botanical Gardens. You're a Bronx site. Everybody knows about the Botanical Gardens and the Bronx Zoo. And uh, I was amazed at all the different types of birds that were here. So I just started shooting and then weeks turned into months and then I really got into it. If you want to do this and do this a lot, rather than keep on paying at the gate, you get a membership, you get your card, you can come in as many times as you want. There are certain levels of membership that'll give you what's called an early morning grounds pass, which is the best thing that they have going. I was able to get here at eight o'clock in the morning. So I had this place to myself pretty much for two hours. And it's amazing, these birds, they're, these owls are so tolerant of humans. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. It's a good thing here because I think most visitors, members, and staff here are very respectful and into the wildlife. So that particular moment really... S and, and, yeah. and. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, no. He's, he's right up there, you see him? Look, he's right over there. 